Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. This video is actually part of a blog hop as we celebrate the March release by Altenew. Now this release is just amazing, just like always. It is packed with uh, new products such as beautiful stencils, uh, new white washi tapes and uh, sprays. Today I'm going to create a card using products from this release. I will be using one of the stencils and these are just beautiful stencils. And um, make sure to visit my blog, you will find links there to all the products that I will be using as well as links to all the products from the latest release. In this release they came up with new colors for their spray collection. So they do have a white and a black with a matte finish and they do have a couple of metallics in silver and gold and they also have a shimmer one which is iridescent. But what is really exciting about this release are the washi tapes. So these are white washi tapes in beautiful colors. And uh, here is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. So you can see how white they are. They could easily cover up the front of your card. And let's open up these rolls so you can see how beautiful these washi tapes are. So if I had to pick just one, I would definitely pick this one. This is the Floral Flaris and this is the washi tape that I will be using today to create my card. This is the watercolor strokes and you can see all the blues and pinks and uh, golden uh, strokes there. I just love the combination. This is the peach gold washi tape and uh, I love that it gives this uh, beautiful watercolored look on your projects. This is the monochrome washi tape and it's not secret that I absolutely love blue. So this is another favorite of mine. So for my card today I will be using the classic stripes this is a very simple stencil but at the same time it's so versatile it's one of those stencils that I, you will be using again and again for creating your backgrounds i'm going to combine this with one of the new sprays that have just came out i'm just going to place everything inside the box because i don't want to make a mess on my craft table and i'm going to spray actually outside of the paper. This is going to create a burst of spray only on one side and it's not going to cover up the whole paper. Now this gives a beautiful gold finish. I don't know if you can see the shine. The spray I used is the antique gold and it's a metallic. Now since we all need to bring spring uh, closer to us, I'm going for um, a flower card today. So I'm going to create my own pattern paper. I'm just using this washi tape and I'm sticking it on top of a um, scrap piece of uh, white cardstock there. The idea here is to create my own elements and uh, I'm going to fuzzy cut out of this uh, pattern paper that I have created all the elements that I need for my card. So I wanted to give you an idea on how you can use this washi tape. So instead of the obvious of just sticking this on your background, you can actually use the designs printed on this washi tape and uh, turn them into focal points on your cards. So I'm just going to cut out uh, different images like leaves and flowers and then uh, I am going to combine everything on top of my card. Since I have golden splashes, at my background, I am going to combine them with this piece of washi tape. This is gold washi tape. It's really beautiful. And I think I have this from an older scrapbook uh, kit from uh, Altenew. So I'm going to stick this down there. I'm going to cut off the excess. And now it's time to uh, do my flower arrangement. I will try to decide where everything is going to go. I'm going to use foam squares at the back and uh, add a little bit of dimension. Now, I really like doing fuzzy cutting. I find it very relaxing, but I know some people <laughs> try to avoid it. Um, just remember that if you leave a quite of a white border around your image, it's not as difficult to cut it out as it looks since you don't have to cut out all the little details. You just leave the white space there. So I'm going to stick the last little flower down there and now it's time to stamp my sentiment. Now this is a flower card which means that it would be perfect for pretty much any occasion. In my case I am going to stamp the word hello from the Sakura Blossom stamp set. This has beautiful uh, sentiments in a beautiful font. I just love this stamp set. I have created a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I used a dark red cardstock that matches perfectly the dark uh, red uh, splashes on my flowers. I used foam tape at the back to add some dimension and I'm going to stick that on top and you can see a little border uh, all around my panel. 
I'm going to finish it off by adding some uh, glitter drops with my Nouveau drops here. And my card is ready. Now make sure to visit my blog and leave me a comment for a chance to win a $30 gift certificate for Alte New. And also make sure to hop along with us, lots of amazing designers in this blog hub and lots of ideas and giveaways. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.